part of the presentation is um, related to SAP training and specifically to the experiences and the expectations that SAP professionals have with regards to training. Um, obviously, we're, uh, we're in the SAP training business ourselves, so very selfishly, we want to know what do people want, what kind of training do they want, how much are they getting, how much do they think they need to be getting, and so on. So what we do every year is a big training survey. We just completed our training survey for 2015, just a few months ago, and it was the biggest one that we've ever had. Over 1,400 people responded to it from 78 countries, so it's truly a global survey. And most importantly, and this, this part is really important to me, 80%, um, actually a little over 80% of the people that completed the survey are people that actually work with SAP on a daily basis. So these are hands-on people, not just some managers or executives that don't really have much to do with the actual SAP system. So 80% of the people we survey are end users, analysts, consultants, or technical folks, you know, programmers, system admins, those kind of guys. I'll share a few data points now with you in the next few slides from that survey, uh, which is only a tiny little snapshot of the entire survey. If you want to download the entire survey, simply go to this link, michaelmanagement.com forward slash survey, and you can download the whole thing. Um, also, if you have any questions now uh, about these upcoming slides, like Alice said, don't wait till the end of it. Uh, simply put it into your chat box, and Alice will... Uh, bring them up to me. Now, first thing that we wanted to talk about are challenges of SAP professionals. So the first question we ask is, have you received enough training to perform your SAP job responsibilities? 